I traversed out the back door. No one paused me. Why should they care? I was merely black and white. The only way color goes on my lines is when I spill anger all over my family. When it washes off, though, so does their dark violet memories of the impact scapegoating has on me. I could have worn a sweater to provide a crimson that could fight away the chilling cobalt from the night. But did I deserve comfort from the crimson that could be an addictive replacement to absent hugs from my mother, assuring I'm worth a place in her mural? Within the blanket of night, I make out the crispy oranges and reds, dropping from branches that are dark enough to match the empathy-lacking eyes of fate, during his decisions of what to make of me. I have no desires of a destination, so I move that job to my feet. My eyes are outlined in red from the lacerations of trying to shove darkness aside. My hands are unable to provide assistance ever since Morning Boo resided in them and was slowly exploring my arms. The red my, by my eyes paints in their whites as they are being pierced by a stinging cloud of humid woe. I tramp on a plateau of air and found myself as a Jill with no jack until my back stopped at the bottom of the hill. Crunchy orange shades plant on my torso Morning blue spreads in my arms. Dark red passes from a pain in the back of my head. Surroundings are cloudy as the message is clear. Fate wanted me colored in, and this was the portrait I had to create.